last-minute backtrack, the Philippines Pandemic Task Force retains the Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine or MECQ status in Metro Manila until September 15. This delays the expected transition of the capital region to a new lockdown system. Presidential spokesman Hari Roque announces this Tuesday night, September 7, a day before Metro Manila is supposed to shift to general community quarantine. With this development, indoor and alfresco dine-in services and personal care services will remain prohibited. Metro Manila is supposed to begin on Wednesday, September 8, the implementation of a new community quarantine system, one that's more focused on granular lockdowns instead of wide-scale ones. Government officials from the Interior and Health Departments also previously hinted on the use of four alert levels to determine the allowed operating capacity of high-risk business establishments. Specific guidelines, however, remain unclear as of Tuesday. Senate President Tito Soto issues warrants of arrest against President Rodrigo Duterte's former advisor Michael Yang and five other officials of Formerly Pharmaceutical Corporation. Senators on Tuesday, September 7, cite Yang in contempt for failing to show up in the ongoing investigation into anomalous pandemic deals. The other officials that have been issued arrest warrants are Mohit Dargani, Twinkle Dargani, Lincoln Ong, Chrisel Grace Mago, and Justine Garado. Yang, through his lawyer Raymond Fortun, says he will attend the next hearing, claiming he has not yet received any of the subpoenas. A Rappler investigation shows that Yang, through a network of companies, has links to Formally, the Philippines' biggest supplier of pandemic contracts. President Rodrigo Duterte has repeatedly tried to exonerate Yang from any wrongdoing in relation to Formally, describing him as a paymaster or financial sponsor of Chinese businessmen who want to do business in the Philippines. Malacanang also denies Farmily was able to bag the pandemic contracts because of Yang's influence and closeness to Duterte. Meantime, Farmily's chairman and president Huang Su Yan finally faces the Blue Ribbon Committee on Tuesday. His father, Huang Wenli, is connected to Yang. Huang says he does not know where his father is now, claiming he has been estranged from him since early 2020. The father and son, as well as Yang's associate Zheng Bingqiang, are all wanted in Taiwan for financial crimes. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The PDP Laban faction, led by Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi, asked the Commission on Elections to declare the camp of Senators Manny Pacquiao and Aquilino Pimentel III as illegitimate. Lawyer Antonio Zulueta files a petition Tuesday, September 7. The Cusi faction, supported by President Rodrigo Duterte, also applies for an extremely urgent issuance of a temporary restraining order and or writ of preliminary injunction against the Pacquiao group. PDP Laban Secretary General Melvin Matibag says the Pacquiao group is usurping authority and pretending to be representatives of the party. Meantime, Pacquiao on Monday, September 6, says he is not willing to run for vice president in 2022 because he wants to have an active role in government. In a Rappler Talk interview, Pacquiao says the vice presidency is not the best platform for him to accomplish his goals for the country. Alam mo kasi kung, kung position lang ang hinahabol ko, Sempre pwede ako mag-senador, pwede ako mag-vice president. Pero gusto ko kasi ng pagbabago, yung gusto kong kung sakali makapag ako. Gusto ko yung active ako, gusto ko yung may magawa ako at gusto kong hindi ako nakaupo lang. Pacquiao says he has met with other potential presidential and vice presidential bets, including Vice President Lenny Robredo, Manila Mayor Isko Moreno, and Senator Grace Po. But he says no plans have been finalized yet. Pacquiao and Duterte, former staunch allies, have been openly critical of each other ahead of the May 2022 elections. Memes and satirical posts pop up on the internet hitting Public Works Secretary Mark Villar. It all started after Villar posted on his verified Facebook page a photo of the Iloilo Esplanade on Friday, September 3, and captioned it hashtag Build Build Build. Build 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 is a defining economic program of the Rodrigo Duterte administration. But there is one problem. Parts of the Iloilo Esplanade were already existing even before Duterte was sworn into office. Comments on the post denounced Villar's supposed credit grabbing, with some pointing out that the construction of the Iloilo Esplanade started during previous administrations. In a separate post on September 3, Villar explains more than half of the projects involving the Iloilo Esplanade were constructed during Duterte's administration. People online started affixing Villar's Facebook caption to World Heritage sites, such as the Leaning Tower of Pizza in Italy, 
the Christ the Redeemer statue in Brazil, the Pyramids of Giza in Egypt, the Colosseum in Italy, and the Stonehenge in England. Some of the posts even incorporated fictional locations, including the Shiga and China district from the popular Japanese manga series Attack on Titan, and the wall from the US television series Game of Thrones. Is Heart Evangelista joining the cast of reality TV series Bling Empire? In a video shared by Evangelista on Twitter, entertainment tabloid site TMZ's crew asked her if she would be appearing on season 2 of Bling Empire. Whatever it is, this is for the Filipinos. Evangelista flew to the United States in August for various work commitments. She's been rumored to join Bling Empire after posting photos with stars Kane and Kelly Me Lee. Dubbed the real Crazy Rich Asians, the Netflix series follows the lives of ultra-wealthy Asian socialites living in the United States. States.